And we're back. And he's wearing a third Peacock shirt. What is with this guy in the same shirt? Mm -hmm. It's not the same shirt. It's a different shirt, I swear. Don't come to my house and check, though. I have a face mask. It's <laughs> Corona. Stay away. All right. We are reading Almost Otis by Me, Dusty Thompson. And we are on page 92. We are chucking through this book, y'all. We're doing good. This is the blog dated Tuesday, February 28th, 2012, titled, I Don't Care if Casper is Friendly. Dot, dot, dot. I mean, how often do you see an ellipsis in a title? I'm helping you out here. All my English teachers, <laughs> you taught me well. It's stuck in my head. When last we spoke, we had discussed language, stemming from the dad's use of the term, hank. This led to a conversation with my sister where she reminded me another word we pronounced incorrectly was montner, meaning monster. Being a naturally nervous or juvenile person, I normally make an effort to avoid all mention of scary things lest I conjure up some creature in my head which will cause me to lose precious sleep. I don't know what happened to me during childhood, but I have been afraid of the dark since somewhere in the neighborhood of birth and lasting up to and including last night. I don't know what makes me skittish in the darkness, but if someone were to scare me with, say, a chainsaw, I could outrun any Olympic sprinter regardless of the steroids or not. Once as a teen, I was about... I just about outran a car when I thought the Blue Lady of Humble Lake in Texas was trying to get me. The unfortunate situation occurred when I attended my first teen bonfire in Bogota, Texas. Actually, it was outside of Bogota. I think it was in Johntown, maybe. I don't remember. Rosalie, maybe. One of y'all people from Bogota remind me where we were. We were at Humble Lake. I don't know where it is. I mentioned the wardrobe choice because simply... Because during my flight, said pantalones, which is Spanish, eventually started to smoke from the friction of my chubby legs pissing me towards safety. Now where I thought I was going to find safety in the boonies of East Texas with a flock of seagull banes, which I'm currently rocking out here, <laughs> and three swatches was beyond me. All I knew was I wanted to be elsewhere. And elsewhere was, was where I wanted to be recently when the dad told me he had seen a ghost in my house. I don't like ghosts. Ghosts are real, y'all. We had a haunted house in Tylertown, Mississippi. Thank you, Dee Dee Smith. Your crazy family told us that it wasn't haunted when it was, and we rented it anyway. The ghost got in my face. It's a whole different story for a whole different time. Anyway, back to the book. Now, I realize I'm a big, strong man. Well, a man, anyway. But I did not need to hear this. Before he could describe this recently cited apparition, he turned to me and said, All this talking about spirits and stuff put my mind to stories my mama told me. While he reminisced and I pretended to listen, I thought of several occasions of my own where I lost any shred of coolness I or my friends imagined I had by possessing a lack of bravery which would have gotten me banished from most any Disney movie. While my friends never abandoned me per se, most certainly my date to the junior prom was less than thrilled when I abandoned her. I'm so sorry, Denise. Faster than a celebrity breaks their wedding vows at the breakfast afterwards. The brother of the hostess, I won't tell you his name, but it rhymes with Scott Holiday. <laughs> yeah, I called you out. Decided to dress as Freddy Krueger and casually tap, tap, tap on the French doors to my immediate right in the den while I was actively pretending to watch A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 934, along with seven to eight of my closest personal friends and their prom dates. When I ever so nervously turned my head toward the doors, I saw this particular face. I screamed like a peacock set on fire, shoved past my date, again I apologize, Denise, and ran down the hall to the bedroom of the slumbering parents, due, I can only imagine, to the overwhelming belief that Mr. and or Mrs. Holiday would save me through the use of gunfire or fisticuffs. And I feel confident that both of them, individually, could have beat up Freddy Krueger. Hey, Miss Sheer, I don't remember your daddy's name, Lee. I don't believe either of them were the same after experiencing the evasion of their inner sanctum by a chubby tuxedo youth and a full one-third of the remaining guests alert enough to have noticed my flight and quickly followed suit. I think I had this exact haircut during that prom. I may be exaggerating these points. This was, after all, 1987, and it's a bit hazy, but not due to alcohol or drugs, mind you. I was a good Baptist youth, although I will cop to an addiction to Aquanet, something I had to keep all of my hair in place. All I know is the following year, the prom breakfast was held in a well-lit hotel suite with the suitable chaperones and, for me, a mild sedative, which you may or may not have been chicken strips and Dr. Pepper. It was a really good prom. We had good food. The most recent event I will have shared happened in Alaska while camping. 
Anyone who knows me is aware, while I am not an ardent fan of the outdoors at night, I can be shamed into complying with requests of that nature loving, uh, and with the request of nature-loving pseudo-hippies I have collected as friends. Yes, I had some hippie friends in Alaska. Not really hippie, but, well, they like the outdoors, so I call them hippies. This particular outing was Memorial Day weekend in 2003, and being Alaska, it was a balmy 40 degrees. As I was much larger then, the lack of heat was a plus. Underarm sweat stains large enough to affect local weather patterns are not a good look for anyone. I had watched the horror movie The Ring just prior to this trip. Suffice it to say, it was not a romantic comedy about a wedding. It is not. Do not watch that movie. It is scary. Yes, I know. Why on earth do I watch scary movies when they actually scare me? I have no answer other than peer pressure. What? I have peers. In theory. No, I don't. We get to the campground, and as there were six of us, I felt my odds of surviving the weekend without being murdered were fair to Midland. I wasn't the slowest, did not have the largest breast, and am absolutely incurious concerning the source of random snapping twigs. I felt pretty sure I wouldn't be the first to die, per the typical plots of axe murderer movies. Once we scouted out the restrooms, however, I discovered the source of my pain for the weekend. Even though they advertised toilets, they were actually toilet seats attached to the top of very deep wells, like journey to the center of the earth deep. And if you've ever seen the ring, you know the girl monster at one point climbs out of a deep well and comes to get the people. Mm -hmm. Well, I can assure you I don't need someone trying to get me while I, I am conducting my business. The psychological repercussions I don't want to imagine. Needless to say, I spent the weekend avoiding the bathroom, which became increasingly difficult while trying to digest elk cooked in a skillet over an open fire. Elk is not delicious, y'all. It is not. Moose chili's good, though. Elk is good. I had yet to find uncomfortable... I had yet to feel uncomfortable in my new home, even when living alone for almost four months. But when the dad told me he had seen a ghost, my first instinct was to flee. The high cost of real estate in the Bay Area held me in place, however, and I asked him to describe this ghost. When he said it was a woman with a large hat and a veil and a parasol, I was both delighted she seemed fashionable and suspicious of the accuracy of the fashion, as my house was built in 1929 and parasols haven't been used in any manner since my fair lady. As I left to walk around and cleanse the house of evil spirits through the recitation of any song I could remember with the most Jesuses in it, which I believe was Jesus, 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 sweetest name I have ever known. Remember that from the church? Okay. If you didn't remember it, you're a heathen. I noticed a figure alarmingly like the woman he described, right in my face. It was a lovely lady in the painting I have over the buffet in my dining room, my first real piece of art. The dad was either... All out of conversational topics, not including bodily fluids, or he was trying to scare me. Rude. I told him if the Phantom was well dressed, then we could coexist quite happily, and I strode off to bed with the full knowledge he had simply fabricated the story, and I had nothing to worry about. Dustin does mean strong hearted leader, according to the Book of Baby Names. My parents chose well. I think we can all agree. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.